Hi there! Here is Marco from Anarial Design. Today we're going to take a look at our latest charity WordPress team named Elephant. This team is built upon our years long experience of creating teams for charity and non profit websites, like our Maisha and Pena teams, that are some of the most popular teams in charity and non profit niche. As you probably know, in the last year with the release of WordPress 5.0, a lot has changed. There is a brand new editor named Gutenberg, built into WordPress core that replaced the classic editor and brought a whole new array of possibilities. Like with most new things, there are always pros and cons. There are people that like it and just as many people that don't. However, although still far from perfect, the new editor is here to stay and it's getting improved on a daily basis. With the Elephant theme, we decided to take advantage of the capabilities of the new editor. The layouts that are presented in the demo are all built using the new editor's built-in options as a basis. It turned out to be very easy to use and customize and, what's also important, future-proof. Of course, although the way the layout is built changed, the way we design our teams didn't. Modern, clean, minimalistic layouts with a clear focus on content instead of flashy, often distracting effects is what we like to see on a good website and what we apply to all our teams. So, let's see how easy it is to set up this team and what options are available. There are two ways to start using a team. One way is to import demo content to make it look like the demo site and then start replacing the content with your own. The other way would be to start from scratch with your own content. You can find a detailed overview of both ways in Teams documentation, which I linked in the description below. For this presentation, I'll import the demo content and replicate the demo site. Once the team is installed, and by the way, the short installation guide is linked in the description, to be able to replicate the demo website, I first need to install recommended plugins by clicking Begin Installing Plugins. Here, I select all plugins. Select Install and then click Apply. When all plugins are installed, go to Appearance, Import Demo Data. All right, from here, if I want to import the whole demo content, I simply click the first option and wait for a bit for the import to finish. Depending on a server, it can take between 20 seconds and a couple of minutes. Now I'll switch to the front end and you'll see that my site now looks just like the demo. By the way, demo import guide can also be found in the documentation linked in the description. All right, now that we have our team set up, let's see what we got and how to customize it. The page that most people like to start with is the home page. In Elephant Demo, homepage is a static page that consists of the hero image, various content elements, featured posts, and donation forms. This is, of course, just our take on how the homepage can be set up, but it can be changed in many different ways. To make any layout changes, you simply need to click Edit Page. This will open the new page editor, and there you'll be able to change content, add new blocks, remove the current ones, and much more. Elephant theme comes with many reusable blocks and templates that can be applied on any page on your site. You can find them in the reusable section. To learn more about the new editor, please check the beginner's guide linked in the description. To change the header or footer of your site, you need to open Customizer by clicking Customize. In the Customizer Site Identity section, you can add your logo, site title and tagline as well as the site icon, also known as favicon. In the Customize Layout Options section, you can adjust the way your menu and header section behave on desktop and on mobile. Here, you can adjust position of the floating social bar. In Hero Image section, you can set your hero image, add caption and style the appearance of the hero image block separately for desktop and mobile view. If you want to use video instead of the hero image, you can do that from the hero video section. 
In the copyright section, you can add your copyright text and URL you want to link the text to. This is displayed at the very bottom of the page. There are two sections with some options that are related to Give and WooCommerce plugins. These sections will only be displayed if these plugins are active. We will come back to the blog options, but before that, I'd like to show you how to set up the footer section. The footer in this theme is widgetized, so we need to go to the widget section of the customizer. There, we'll find three footer widget areas. In the demo, all three are used and we see three column footer. However, not all three have to be used. If you choose to use just two, your footer will display in two columns. If you use one, it will display in one column. There are many default widgets available, from text widgets to recent posts widgets. Many plugins also add their own widgets that you can then use within the footer. All right, now we can check the options for our blog page. By default, our blog page features right sidebar, but we can decide to have sidebar on the left side or no sidebar. We can also set our blog page to display posts in two column grid with a sidebar or three column grid with no sidebar. Here, we can also set our blog page to automatically display excerpts of all our posts. Although we like to leave the full length option and then use the read more function within the post editor to create an excerpt for each post separately and so decide the length of the excerpt depending on the content. Below are some additional options for your blog page and posts. The other pages that are presented in the demo, like About page, Testimonials, Causes, are also all available as reusable templates and can be applied to any page with a simple mouse click. Just head to the reusable block, find the template you want, and it instantly populates the page. Besides these pages, in the demo you can find specialized pages like the Shop page, Donation pages, Contact page, or Elementor pages. These pages are related to third-party plugins this team supports with built-in styling that make them fit better with the rest of the team. These plugins are WooCommerce for Shop, Give for Donations, WP Forms for Contact and Other Forms, and Elementor. Elementor is a page builder plugin that we recommend in case you need additional layouts or options for your pages that are currently not available within the team and the new editor. Elephant Team also includes a couple of pre-built templates for Elementor that can be imported and used on any page. Now let's go back to Customizer and check the color customization options. You'll notice that the section is separated in three smaller sections. The first section controls colors of various elements in the header section of the page when viewed on desktop. There you can change menu and submenu text colors, button color, background color and so on. The next section features more or less the same controls, but for the mobile view. The third section includes color controls of all the other elements, from social menu to footer, content and sidebar colors. We tried to name every color option logically, but for some you'll probably want to play around to see what they do. In case you can't find an option, you're very welcome to contact our dedicated support to assist you. Some of you probably noticed that I didn't mention any options to change fonts. That's because we don't build font options into our teams, as that functionality is better left to a dedicated plugin. If you want to use a font other than the one we picked for our team, we can highly recommend using the Easy Google Fonts or Google Fonts Typography plugin, which I linked in the description below. Well, that wraps up this short presentation. I hope you enjoyed it, and got a good overview of this beautiful new theme. For more information, make sure to visit our website at anarialdesign.com. Thank you for your time.